this is a lot of snow. It's still coming. For reference, this fence is five and a half feet tall. And it's still coming down pretty heavy. There's the puppies. All the way almost up to our windows. A powerful winter storm that brought severe frost and heavy snow covered most of the United States, which is home to about 250 million people. Severe weather warnings are in effect in 12 U.S. states. Freezing rain hit Seattle on Friday, the most significant ice event in the region in at least a decade. Stay at home if you Ooh. can, the authorities pleaded. People didn't what listen. The roads and sidewalks, though much more empty than usual, were scenes of chaos. <laughs> One video shows a car sliding down the street and crushing into several cars. During the day, the Washington State Patrol responded to 253 accidents in King County alone. By Friday afternoon, the UW Medicine Hospitals had reported about 70 icing-related injuries, mostly from people who slipped and fell. Garbage pickup has been cancelled. Museums, theaters, libraries, zoo, aquarium, everything is closed. Medical appointments have moved online. Seattle Tacoma International Airport briefly closed all three runways.
Storms have been raging across the western and central United States since Saturday. Northern California was hit by a massive winter storm over the weekend, flooding cities and counties with inches of snow. An atmospheric river storm sucked in moisture from the Pacific Ocean before tearing through the western states. Power went out to more than 170,000 homes in California on Sunday afternoon, and about 35,000 homes in Nevada were also out. Heavy snow also hit the Sierra Nevada mountains, with up to three feet of snow falling in some areas. Oh You're down so deep. <laughs> Several inches of snow also hit areas of western Nevada, with up to 18 inches of snow expected in some regions. More snow is expected in the region this week due to another, smaller storm developing along the west coast. The U.S. Weather Agency warned that the blizzards that have hit much of North America in recent days will gradually subside. Much of the eastern United States experienced freezing temperatures below no degrees Celsius on Monday, 26 twelfths, before the weather began to decline on Tuesday, December 27. At least 38 people have died in the United States due to the Arctic freezing weather that continues to hit the Americas and Canada. Officials say 34 people died across the U.S., with the worst hit area being Buffalo City, in New York State. However, it is feared that the number of victims will increase after the heavy snow melts. Many were trapped in cars and many homes were left unreached because roads were cut off. A massive storm wreaked havoc for days, but power had been restored after an earlier blackout. Fewer than 200,000 customers were reported without power on Sunday afternoon local time, down from a peak of 1.7 million subscribers, the Associated Press News Agency reported. Thousands of flights were cancelled, so many people cancelled gathering with their families to celebrate Christmas. And, more than 55 million U.S. citizens remained under a wind-chilly weather warning Sunday. The scale of the current storm was unprecedented, stretching from Canada south to Texas. Ice and snow cover an abandoned vehicle along the shoreline of Lake Erie, December 24, 2022 in Hamburg, New York. Winter storm bomb typhoons, which occur when atmospheric pressure drops, causing heavy snow and winds, have disrupted travel across the country. A hurricane bomb is the term given to a rapidly increasing explosive storm, with its central air pressure dropping by at least 24 millibars in 24 hours. New York State so much snow, like...
Jeez. Oh, man, how we doing? How we doing? Oh. 